Welcome to this little vlog about my creative weekend while living alone. Because I work as a freelancer from home, weekends can get very boring. And as a 30 something year old, I have a lot of friends with families and busy plans. And maybe this could be relatable to you, but weekends can be kind of boring. And that is okay. I just wanted to make this video to show you that not everyone has a really crazy weekend. For this weekend, I didn't really have any plans, so when I woke up this day, I just decided I needed to get out of the house. I was done. I took the train to Utrecht, one of my favorite cities, and I went to their botanical gardens to watch the ginkgo tree and just draw for a bit. And this year I got myself a museum card, which is a card that gives you access to almost every museum in the Netherlands. I think it's a great deal. And most botanical gardens are museums as well. Ever since doing one week of the artist's way, I tell myself to go on more artist dates and I never really do. So here I am on a little artist date. Join me. In winter I find it really hard to get myself out of the house. So I really want to do this more often. Just a little uh, note to self. If you're new here and still watching, I'm Angelica and I'm a full-time photographer and illustrator on the side. I studied illustration at art school many, many years ago and now I mostly photograph weddings for a living. I'm now in low season and I've decided to dedicate the next two months to my illustrations and printmaking. And this is just a little warm up. So I really enjoy this garden, even though it's really small and the kinko tree was so beautiful and the yellow leaves were like a magic blanket. It was just also really quiet, so I really, really enjoyed it. And I just spent a few hours drawing, photographing, filming. And this might sound weird, but I got really recharged by all these things. I love it when it all comes together. I had planned to go to the other botanical garden as well, but a friend texted me and we decided to get lunch spontaneously, which was just so much fun. And again, I love how everything just comes together like that. And I often spend the whole weekend alone. And I don't mean it in a sad way. It's okay. I just wanted to tell you so you maybe feel a little bit less weird or alone. And I hope it helped. Please let me know. And we wandered around the city for a bit and then I went home to draw some more. I got really inspired at the Botanical Garden, even though they didn't really have any tropical plants. The plants that I usually love, except for my beloved Kinko tree. And for now, I'm just going to let the music play for a bit, uh, because I just paid for an artlist subscription, so I better use some of their music.
Hi, good morning from another gloomy day in the Netherlands. First of all, I might look very tired. I'm not necessarily tired. I bought a new like makeup remover yesterday and my eyes are really puffy and sore, like itchy. I think I have like a mild allergic reaction to them. So that's why my eyes might look swollen. <laughs> For the last few years I've been to more warmer countries in November, like last year I went to Spain and the year before that I went to Portugal for a month. Yeah, I kind of underestimated the seasonal depression kind of thing, I think. <laughs> but yeah, here we are. Anyway, so yesterday I drew this, like a little self-portrait. I'm gonna take a few pictures of it now for maybe Instagram. The thing is, um, I have made a video before about my art school and how that was a bit traumatizing and how I never really liked my own work and now I'm at this point where I've been making things and enjoying making things again and I think that's very important because I've also been thinking I don't really want to make some random vlogs even though I do really enjoy watching them it feels a little narcissistic I guess but um, what I really want to say with this vlog is that it is okay to make things that are ugly or that you don't like. And I think nowadays we are so focused on being the best versions of ourselves, making amazing things. I mean, I follow a lot of people who do printmaking on Instagram and do like lino cuts like I do. And they have like 100,000 followers on Instagram. I have like maybe almost 600 makes me very proud and happy i recently did a sale on my web shop and i got five orders which was very nice and uh, the first hour i got none so i was very disappointed to be honest we live in this world and it feels very weird is doable and everyone if you just work really really hard you just should get the results you want oh as good as yesterday was today didn't feel great and you know what that's okay what i wanted to say here in this rant is that art for me isn't just about making beautiful things it's more like some sort of meditation i can be overly critical when it comes to my drawings and i really try hard not to but it is hard trust me and maybe you will feel this too so for you be proud of your art and most of all, please enjoy making it. That is the most important part of all. For the rest of the day, I did really boring things like cleaning and working out, just the regular stuff. I was just really tired and just spent the rest of the day reading and watching Netflix. I'm finally starting a Court of Thorns and Roses series because when it's dark and dreary outside, I really feel like reading fantasy novels. Um, I have to admit that I'm not too sure about this one. It feels like a fantasy bouquet book for young adults, but it is an easy read for sure. If you have any other recommendations, just please let me know in the comments. And for now, I'm just going to leave it here because this was just a regular, slightly boring, but also inspiring weekend. And I really enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my life. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Thanks for watching, I guess, and also let me know if you're also just as obsessed about botanical gardens as I am, because I feel like a freak sometimes, but I like plants. I really do. Okay, thank you. Bye.